This video will show you how you can use your Casio graphical calculator to work with binomial probability questions. I'm using the CG20, but this same method will work with the CG50, the current newest model, or in fact, any of the older previous models that uh, have this capability. So it's very simple. What we need to do first of all, is we need to go into the menu and go into the statistics mode. So simply pressing the menu button, and then either using the arrows and execute to go into statistics, or simply pressing two, will take you into your stats mode. Now, for all of these questions, I'm going to work with a binomial distribution where n is 20 and p is 0 0.2. There's a couple of different ways of doing this. It depends exactly what you want it to do. It can either work out one specific value. For example, uh, we could look at something like probability x equals 5. Or we could do something like the probability x is less than or equal to 5. So either specific value or the cumulative distribution tables. We'll deal with the first case where we're looking for a specific value first of all. Now we need to tell the calculator which distribution we're in. So we need to press the button under distribution F5. Might be that you've got different stuff up on your screen in which case pressing F6 is going to cycle through the different menus. But pressing F5 and then we want binomial. So we're going to press that. Now we get three different options and the two we're gonna be looking at today are BPD and BCD. First of all, we're going to look at, be looking at uh, BPD. That is the binomial probability distribution. So that's this first type, BPD. Pressing F1 for that, we are confronted with this particular uh, set of choices. Now, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to work out just one specific value. And what I'm going to do is we're going to look at a variable. So this is changing that first one just for a particular variable. Here is where I would enter the value of x. It's five in this case, which was already on my uh, calculator. That's fine. Number of trials, well, we know that n is 20. So pressing 20 and our value of p is 0 0.2. Here is where it can save the result. Now, I don't need it to save the result anywhere, so I'm simply going to put it as being uh, none, but you could change it and get it to save in a particular list, and I'll show you where it saves in just a second. But pressing execute, we'll do the calculation, and that's that value for this first question, probability x equals five, 0 0.1745, etc. Okay, so nice and simple. Pressing exit, going back out of there, if we go back into uh, list, Okay, so this is now going to be uh, working out a, a series of different values. We're going to get it to calculate uh, 0, 1, 2, 5, 10, whatever we might want it to do. In order to tell it where the information is coming from, we need to make sure that it's finding it from the right list. So this is going to be looking in list 1 to be able to work out what values of x we've got. Now, if we press exit, we can see that at the moment our list one has nothing in it. This is where it would have saved the data earlier had we wanted it to. Okay, so I'm gonna want it to work out when X is zero, one, two, uh, five, and um, 10, okay? And then we go back into the distri uh, distribution mode, back into binomial, we're doing the probability distribution, and we now know that it's gonna be taking the um, uh, values from list one, uh, it's going to be doing lots of calculations. I'm probably going to want all of those answers. So I'm going to go down and ask it to save the results into list number two. And pressing execute. And there are all of those calculations. And of course, we can scroll through and see them in more detail, uh, which is very useful to be able to do. You'll notice as well that, for example, with this one, the value that it's providing in the table is not actually rounding up. Our next uh, digit would be five. It hasn't rounded up uh, for there. So we just need to be aware of that. But you can access the uh, values to, what's that, 10 decimal places just by scrolling through. Pressing execute, um, sorry, pressing exit will take us back to the list, and there we can see each of those values that have been saved into list two. We're gonna do some more work in a moment. I'm gonna to want to clear these values out. So if I want to do that, simply going to the next set of menus, pressing delete all, will delete that whole column. That's deleted all of those. Or if I wanted to just delete one, I could press here, and that will just delete that one. But I want to delete them all, so let's just get rid of all of them. Okay, so that's nice and simple. That's how we can do the probability distribution values. We can do one or a whole range of them. I'm gonna press, um, sorry, I'm gonna press to go into the next set of menus back again. Let's go back into our distribution. And now we're going to look at the binomial cumulative distribution. So that is this style of problem. B, C, D is the option to go for there. And what we're actually doing is we, uh, we'll get the calculator to create these type of tables um, that you often get in formula booklets. Uh, we're gonna get it to do those type of things. 
Okay, so pressing B, C, D will bring us to this mode. We'll do variable first. So this is the same, it's just going to do one particular one. Here we need to specify what we're going from. Now, if we want uh, less than or equal to five, this means that we are starting with a lower value of zero. We want from zero all the way up to five. But we could change that lower value to being something else if we just wanted the cumulative distribution, say from three to five or something like that. We can do that quite nice and easily. And again, I'm going to say that it doesn't need to save it anywhere. I'm just gonna put it at uh, save result none. Pressing execute. That is the cumulative distribution. The answer to this question, probability x is less than or equal to five. So nice and straightforward there. If instead I want to um, create a list of values or if I want to reproduce the tables that you get in formula booklets, we get a few different options here. We've got L list and U list. This is the lower and upper values that we want it to calculate. Now, as you notice, it's got to take these values from some lists, so list one and list two. So I'm gonna go back into my list and I'm gonna set these up. So list one is going to be my lower values, list two is going to be my upper values. Now, if I want to simply reproduce the tables that we get in the formula booklet, I'm going to do something like going from zero, zero to zero for my first one. That's just gonna do uh, equals zero. Then we're going to go from zero to one and from zero to two, etc. And so really, you're probably going to find that your first list is going to be just zero in lots of places. So I'll just put a load of zeros in there. And we'll, let's have our table going from zero to one, zero to two, three, uh, four, five, six. I think that's all I did. Yes, there you go. Um, so now we've got those as our lower and upper values for the cumulative distribution. And if we press distribute binomial uh, back to the cumulative distribution, now it's going to take from my list one, from my list two, so zero to zero, zero to one, zero to two, and so on. I've got my value for N, I've got my value for uh, P. I wanted to save these values because there's gonna be a few of them. So I'm going to put these in list uh, number three. Press execute, thinks for a second, and there are all of those values. And of course, if you check these against a uh, uh, formula book set of tables, um, you will see that it is exactly the same. We can press exit if we want, come all the way out, and we can see that table in the same format. And again, scrolling over those values will give us each of those. And remember, this is less than or equal to, uh, so that should help you when you're trying to find each of these. So the graphical calculator can be very powerful for finding all of these values. Hopefully that helps, and good luck with it.